the creative economy. As I did make the announcement last week here, we are going to look for alternative resources to do all the other things that today the Sports and Arts Fund is doing, building hospitals, building other issues. We are going to look for alternative sources of resources to be able to do that so that we can dedicate the Sports and Arts Fund to sports, to the creative economy, and to arts so that we can promote the young men and women in that space because they are doing a wonderful job in profiling our country positively, in hoisting our flag internationally, and in giving Kenya the pride of place in the family of nations when they run and when they win. I have also asked the ministry that the government of Kenya should review the reward scheme so that we can recognize and we can reward appropriately the men and women who attain excellence in our sports, in our arts, and in the creative economy. And going forward, we have decided as the government of Kenya that any Kenyan who participates in a world event and breaks a world record, unlike in the past when there was no recognition, going forward, for every world record broken by a Kenyan, the government of Kenya is going to award 5 million shillings. And we are going to start today with faith. She has won and broken two world records in 1,500 meters, as I said, in Florence, Italy, and in 5,000 meters in Paris, in, it, in, uh, in, uh, in France. The government of Kenya is going to award her a total of 5 million for one record, and we are going to give her a house worth 6 million for the other record. It will be the same for all the other world beaters and world record breakers that will come after faith so that our young men and women can be motivated because we already have the talent. We have the pool of uh, talented resources in Kenya that can break any record and going forward, we are going to work hand in hand with our athletes and support them. And beyond supporting them, reward them appropriately. This is also the spirit of the Talanda Hela flagship initiative I availed last Friday. I did say last Friday that we are monetizing sports. We are monetizing art. We are monetizing music. We are monetizing the creative economy so that it begins to speak the language of success to those millions who participate in that space and recognize that art is not just about jokes. It is about serious business. Athletics is not just about entertainment. Football is not just about entertainment. It's not about making us feel good. It must speak to the language of monetary gain for those who sacrifice, spend their time, commit their resources, stay disciplined. And I want to congratulate Faith for being an example of what discipline and consistency is. Our sports and sportsmen and women brand Kenya worldwide more than any other branding that happens. We want to honor and reward them accordingly. The new scheme covers the entire spectrum of sports and creatives. 
Under this scheme, as I have said, we are going to have a whole new package. I want the ministry to finalize the package of what kind of reward scheme is going to accompany our sportsmen and women, our uh, creatives, our arts uh, people participating in arts, and I will be launching that scheme shortly so that our sportsmen and women and people in the arts space can know how the government of Kenya is going to stand with them when they shine. And we were going to make sure that they are proud to be Kenyan and they should be proud of what they are doing. I also want to ask the ministry responsible for um, immigration that our sports men and women who excel should be given diplomatic passports and other national honors. We're going to work as a government to ensure that these great Kenyan ambassadors who do sometimes more than I, what I can do as president or what the ministers and all other Kenyans can do, get the place of pride and move uh, around the world with ease so that they can continue to hoist the flag of our country in many places of the world. I must also say that we are refining necessary policies and facilities. Last week, we launched a master plan on sports infrastructure. What is going to happen to our stadia? What is going to happen to all accompanying academies and training facilities and um, uh, mentorship uh, programs for all the people working in that space, making sure that we have the necessary infrastructure to support our arts, to support our sports, and to make sure that we give the best possible chance for our sportsmen and women and our artists to be their pe best and to bring out their best talents. Congratulations, Faith. At some point, I saw somebody saying, this Kibiegon lady, it is her faith that made Kibiegon to do well. So continue, faith, to have the faith to win even more. Congratulations, uh, Ongera, my brother Ferdinand, Wanyoni, Mary Mora, and all the world beaters who are here. You have made not just yourselves proud, you have made all of us and the people of Kenya and the nation of Kenya proud. We will stand with you, we will work with you, we will do this journey together. We are opening a new page as a nation in making sure 